FWC arrested 10 people today. They say were fishing with illegal gill nets near the Skyway. And those nets measured more than four and a half football fields in length. Hundreds of fish and sharks got tangled in them. And Fox 13's Haley Hines is live at FWC's Tampa field office with how harmful these nets can be. We know what it does to our marine life. Not good, Haley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kelly, well, arrests for gill nets aren't particularly common. FWC says they are a big deal. They're a third degree felony. And that is because those massive nets stretching from the top of the water to the bottom could kill almost anything that gets tangled in them from fish to sea turtles, even dolphins and sharks. A cool breeze, a beautiful sunset. Sitting down and sitting out on the pier and fishing out in the ocean. Life's pretty good on the Skyway Fishing Pier. If I catch a red snapper or something like that, uh, I'd be more than happy to bag it and take it home and eat it. But not everyone plays by the rules. Last week, FWC got a tip about suspicious nets in the water at the North Skyway Rest Area. They turned out to be gill nets, illegal in Florida. Gill nets are made of, out of monofilament that kind of looks like a, a wall of netting. And the top, the top of the net will have floats on top so that it floats on top of the water. And the bottom will have lead weights so that it sinks to the bottom. According to FWC, the nets work by gilling fish and entangling them within the mesh. And it's a huge harm to our marine species because if you're trying to catch the one species or not, it typically doesn't matter. It catches everything and it kills a lot of it. Fish to crab to shark. Uh, you name it, it'll get stuck in it. After 10 hours of surveillance, officers arrested 10 people from Atlanta. Their four nets measured more than 1,600 feet in length, more than four and a half football fields. FWC also seized over 500 pounds of fish and shark. Snook to barracuda to catfish to mullet. Gill nets have been banned in Florida since 1995. Get caught using them and it's a third degree felony. It hurts everybody that wants to go out and recreational fish. FWC says they rely on the public to keep the water safe and fair. What we do today affects the rest of tomorrow, you know, our future. And if we're, you know, trying to have a place for our, you know, our young ones or children in the future, we need to pay attention to what we're actually doing now. On top of the felony charge, which carries a max penalty of five years in prison, the people arrested in this case also faced uh, quite a long list of misdemeanor charges. Kelly. All right, Haley Hines reporting for us tonight. Thank you so much, Haley. Yeah, glad somebody tipped them off for sure.